Some startling and, and very, very sad numbers for New York in terms of the latest numbers. Yeah, that's right. New York State and New York City really are becoming the epicenters of that pandemic in the United States. And we're not supposed to see um, the apex of all this for another two weeks. So New York State reporting a 26 percent rise in coronavirus-related deaths. And for New York City, that number was 16 percent higher, an increase in just six hours. So really devastating numbers coming out of New York. There's been a lot of help, though, sent to New York City uh, just yesterday. Today we had the Javits Center open up. That will be a hospital. It's usually a convention center for a lot of conferences. And that will host about 2,500 hospital beds for non-COVID patients. And then also the USNC Comfort. That is now in New York Harbor. The last time it was here in New York was during 9-11 when it was coming here to treat first responders. Again, that will treat non-COVID patients, about 1,000 beds on the Comfort. And the whole idea of opening up these other makeshift hospitals and bringing in the comfort is to relieve the pressure on the hospital system in New York, the main system, so they can focus on these coronavirus patients. And as you can see, it's very desperately needed, given just the um, magnitude of these numbers we're seeing. Yeah, and Amory, the White House and Congress also preparing for a fourth round of stimulus. Mm -hmm. What's the timing on this and what's being discussed? Yeah, phase four discussions underway. No timing just yet, Nair. We only just had the two trillion um, really be, being signed into legislation, but they are discussing it. Nancy Pelosi said they're collecting information and taking inventory. So the White House says, uh, according to people familiar, that they've been discussing with agencies and the total will be about $600 billion. This will be for state aid, financial instruments for the mortgage market, as well as potentially another injection of direct checks or direct deposits to Americans. Um, one other thing being negotiated, according to the New York Times interview Pelosi gave, a possible move would be getting rid of the limit on state and local tax deductions. But already, a Republican said, that idea is a non-starter. You saw the back and forth on the last phase three stimulus. Likely, there's going to be a lot of debate on what should be in this phase four era. And in terms of the take from the president, again, yesterday we saw Fochi talk about potentially 200,000 deaths. Mm. Um, and again, then we see the president talking about, well, parts of the country are fine, and I don't think we need a, 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 an escalation in terms of the lockdowns. But the governors are doing slightly differently to what's coming from the podium. Isn't that correct? Yeah, well, it's interesting. As Trump, as President Donald Trump is talking about the fact that not all on the entire country needs a statewide lockdown. I mean, look at the United States. This is a huge country. But at the same time, just yesterday, we had the governors of Maryland and Virginia order statewide lockdowns, which means you can only leave your house um, if you're going to the grocery store, if you're an essential worker. The idea is to stay home. Um, that, is the that is the entire premise of these, of these lockdowns. But I think what Trump is trying to say is that we haven't seen this in every single state, so it would be too premature to enact that on a state, a nationwide level. But I think it is something that they're obviously considering. I mean, we saw President Trump really U-turn from that ambition to get Americans out back in the streets, back to work with these packed churches. He was talking about by Easter. He listened to the medical yep. professionals. He listened to Dr. Fauci, and that's not happening. So this is obviously something that they're probably still going to consider, but it's just not on the table yet.